It is nearly impossible to avoid staring at a screen at any moment during the day, especially these past weeks, admittedly. The longer you sit there scrolling, the more likely you are, however, to damage your health. A report from the CDC found that half of American teens spend at least four hours a day in front of screens. More than a quarter of those teens also report feelings of anxiety. But mental health isn't the only thing at risk. Dr. Ashley Brissett is a New York City ophthalmologist, and she joins us now in studio with some of the warnings. So talk to me about the eye health aspect of all of this. The, spe the specific act of scrolling, does that impact your eye health? Yeah, so scrolling can impact the eye health and it's something that my patients ask about all the time yeah. because I feel like our whole world's on screens nowadays, mm -hmm. so we just come by it naturally. So what it is is that when we're scrolling, our eyes are focusing up close for a long amount of time and that can cause something called computer vision syndrome or digital eye strain. And that causes them to focus, get fatigued, it can lead to blurry vision, sometimes even headaches or back and neck pain from that mm. posture as well. The other thing is it causes us to blink less, which can lead to dry eyes. So normal blinks are about 15 to 20 times a minute. Yeah. And when we're staring at a screen, we blink about half that amount and that dries out the eyes, leads to discomfort. Wow. Um, are children any more at risk for eye health issues when it comes to screen time? Yeah, children can be at more risk with scrolling. And we really think that it has to do, again, with that near focus and that near work. So it's not necessarily just the act of scrolling, but mm -hmm. it's the focusing up close. Children's eyes are still developing. And what can happen is their eyes can elongate, and then that leads to something called progressive myopia, okay. which is nearsightedness. And that can cause damage to the vision, especially as they grow up. What are some signs you would say that you've been staring at the screen for way too long? Yeah, so some signs would be blurring of the vision, yeah. if you have some discomfort or fatigue of the eyes, like they feel tired or heavy, like you want to close them, if you get double vision at all or even some headache, that would be a sign to put the phone down. What are some good screen habits then, you would say, to keep our eyes healthy? Yes, yeah, so some things we can do. You can turn down the brightness of the mm -hmm. screen. That can help to kind of alleviate some of that strain. Getting a glare cover as well can also cut okay. down on that. And then the last thing that we recommend is something called the 20 20 20 rule. So that's every 20 minutes, look 20 feet away for 20 seconds. That helps to relax the eyes. You can blink to redistribute the tears on the surface of the eye to help hydrate them. Okay, what if you can't see what's 20 feet 20 away? 20 feet away, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do the blue blockers work? I use those at night. I don't know if yeah. it's, it's a placebo effect or not. I know. So everybody always asks about the blue light yeah. blocking glasses. Okay, so I will say that is a great marketing tool, but we have studies that haven't really shown much benefit in preventing digital eye strain, unfortunately. Okay. Other interventions can help more, so those other things we discussed. But if you wear them and you think they help. There is no. no harm in wearing them. So I've been looking like Roy Orbison <laughs> for quite some time with no effect, apparently. With no effect. <laughs> Dr. Brissett, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate you joining us. Thank you for having me. And by the way, for more tips to keep your eyes healthy, you can follow Dr. Brissett on Instagram. The information right there on your screen. Some good tips.